The Elevate headstock drilling jig removes the stress of drilling accurately positioned holes for tuners. The jig is constructed of a solid aluminum body and three drill guide fingers that each house a hardened steel drill bushing. Each finger moves independently so the jig accurately indexes off the side of your headstock, regardless of if those sides are straight or curved, resulting in holes evenly spaced one and a half inches apart. The body of the jig has a few features that make it easy to locate on your headstock. First, the centerline edge of the jig is marked for easy reference. Next, the side of the jig has three points for aligning the body with the location of your tuner layout. If your headstock happens to be small enough that you can't use these points, the underside also has scribed marks that can be used instead. Lastly, the underside of the jig has relief areas so that can fit over a fingerboard if needed. If your headstock is already at final thickness, add a piece of scrap on the back to reduce the chance of tear out when drilling. To use the headstock drilling jig, first mark your headstock. You'll need to draw a center line and a perpendicular line for the location of at least one of your tuners. First align the edge of the jig that is marked center line with the middle of your headstock. Now align one of the points on the opposite side of the jig with your perpendicular line. Once you're happy with the location, clamp the jig down and double check your alignment. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to look at two common scenarios for tuner holes. The first is a straight through 10 millimeter hole. With the jig body clamped in place, Insert the 10 mm drill guide fingers. Each finger has a hard stop on the bottom that places the tuner hole one half inch on center from the edge. Slide the finger until this stop contacts the edge of your headstock and lock it down tight. Once all fingers are secured, you're ready to drill. When drilling, all you'll need is an ordinary handheld drill. I find it works best when run at its highest speed and with light downward pressure. Drill all the way through the headstock and into the scrap board. Alternatively, if you wish to use a drill press, you can set the depth stop so that the drill bit tip just pierces the back of the headstock. Then remove the jig, flip over your work, and finish the holes from the back. Now that the first side is done, rotate the jig 180 degrees and repeat the same steps for the second side. The second scenario we'll look at is when you need a stepped hole for tuners that use press fit bushings on the face of the headstock. In this instance, an 11 seconds bushing hole and a quarter inch through hole is needed. Start by placing a depth stop collar on the 11 seconds drill bit and set the depth using one of the guide fingers. Next, insert the drill guide fingers as before and tighten everything down. Once the holes are drilled to the desired depth, don't unclamp the jig just yet. Instead, switch out the 11 seconds fingers for the quarter inch fingers. With these locked in place, drill all the way through the headstock and into the scrap board. Once the first side is complete, repeat the same steps for the second side. The Elevate headstock drilling jig makes drilling accurately spaced holes for tuners a breeze, regardless of your headstock shape. Get yours today at elevateluthery.com.